Greenland in spectacular, with all its icebergs, deep fjords, glaciers and high mountains. At some places we felt that we were the first people there ever. We know that that isn't true, but it's far from everything and true wilderness. Greenland is the best on the trip so far, but we have said that for many places, so maybe we just have a short memory. It is cold. The water temperature is 3 degrees and the air is seldom above 10. When the sun is out, it feels summer-like. But when the fog rolls in, it's very winter-like. I'm so glad that we had warm clothes shipped from home. Thank you, plus minus null. We are at 63 degrees north, and it's end of August. So we have daylight from 5 in the morning to 9 in the evening. Anchoring is difficult here. The water is very deep all the way into the shore, and there are a lot of kelp and seaweed on the bottom. On top of that, the tide is 2.5 meters. So now we are in Augsklaktok. Uh, it's a small village. I think this is a typical village. Uh, it's 80 people living here and uh, no road connections. So it's always uh, the only way to get here is by boat. So it's a shuttle boat. I don't know how many times it comes here. But all these villages uh, have a church a generator and a gas station and a small uh, grocery store uh, and all these super tiny houses here the church and the uh, school is the same building So what's for dinner tonight? Myskosk is called in Danish, in Swedish it's called Myskokse and I think it's a kind of a um, bison, uh, if you say it in English, I don't know the English name of it. But we tried it the, the first, first night we arrived here in Greenland, we were invited to a Norwegian boat called Vilja and they had done Myskos stew and it was so great to have it and so good so I got inspired and thought that I have to try and cook it but I don't have any recipe and Google is out of order here in in the, in the Greenland because it's really hard to get internet but I'm going to do my best so now I'm going to take this meat 
heat and fry it in the pan and then I'm going to boil it in the pressure cooker with some red wine, onion, garlic and rosemary. I think that is good. And then we're going to have a celery and a potato mashed celery and potato puree to it. I think that is good. But isn't uh, miscox um, endangered species? Uh, in Sweden it is. I think we have five species of them. <laughs> this is five, five of them in Sweden. So for me, when I heard that you were eating it here, I was like, Ooh, you're not allowed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, we better take the opportunity to eat it before it's gone forever. Yeah, <laughs> but but here they hunt them, and they have like special quotes that are allowed to shoot. So I think they are under. Yeah, it was nothing control. strange. No, and they sold it in the, in the shop. In the ordinary grocery yeah, store. Yeah, in the ordinary grocery store. So voila, was she good? Was she good? Thanks for watching and don't miss our next episode when we continue exploring Greenland. We are going on hikes, watch glaciers close up and go through Prince Christian Sound. All the best from Paul and Lina on Svea.